Guys, welcome back to the Solidarity Challenge. We've just seen a game between Amandine Henry and Blaise Matuidi there. A very, very close game, but ultimately it is going to be Matuidi going on through. Next, we do have Danny Kerr taking on Matthew Bester row So, Harry, it's just me and you now. Darren said uh, I just had to get himself away. He's a busy, busy man. We, we, we keep just stealing him when we can, don't we, for a couple of games now and then. But it's just me and you this time around. We're going to be running through everything in the commentary as well. Excited again, this one between two rugby stars. Yeah, he uh, got a bit sick of me, I think, uh, did Darren. But uh, no, it, this, this should be a good one. I'm hoping for a, a lot of full-blooded challenges, considering both of these lads are used to, you know, uh, f lots of physical contact. Obviously, football is a little bit less physical. Virtual football, even bit. less so. Uh, so hopefully we can see, uh, you know, some of their, their rugby styles coming to play here on the virtual pitch. And of course, it is mostly footballers uh, in the tournament, in the Solidarity Challenge. Uh, of course, we did have Tommy Fle Fleetwood and Mo Farah playing each other as well. And obviously, they're different. But it's nice to see different sportsmen from different sports coming in against each other. But of course, we have put the two rugby lads up against each other, as you have alluded to. England v France, once again, it's quite a, a tie up in the Six Nations. I wonder if it will be on the virtual football pitch. <laughs> uh, we're curious to see which one way these guys want to go. Both respectively have played for their countries as well. So I'm curious where people go. I we're thinking they're probably going to go for stronger teams. So you're looking at your Barcelona's, etc. You know, you, these biz, big physical presences like Juventus. I mean, Harry, if you could pick any team, obviously all of these teams are stat balanced. Who would you go with? It's a good question. I think it really comes down to the type of football that you want to play. Obviously, you have uh, uh, Griezmann using Barcelona, not only because he plays for Barcelona, but no doubt because of of the the technical ability of the midfielders and, and the, the strong front three that they have. Uh, I think I'd probably use Juventus. I like Boss in the midfield. You've got uh, the likes of Matuidi in that sort of midfield role, and you have the the likes of uh, Paolo Dybala you could bring on from the bench as well. It's very, very solid bench and, and a lot of depth in that squad. So uh, it depends on the type of football you want to play. If you want to play it physical, you want to play it rugged, maybe you go for a Manchester United or a Juventus. Uh, but we'll have to see what these two lads uh, want to choose here. Well, we will get into the game very, very shortly. But just to remind you guys why we are doing the Solidarity Challenge, it's for the Solidarity Response Fund, www.solidaritychallenge.org. If you do want to donate, it is towards the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. That's exactly why we are doing the show for the global pandemic that is currently still ongoing. Please do donate anything you can. And that's why these, these celebrities are here to raise awareness of this charity and to get you Digging into your pockets, if you like, uh, so you can donate at that website, as said. But before we get into the game, we're going to chat to the players. So you guys, obviously, as as Danny mentioned, have played each other on, on, on the rugby pitch. So playing each other now, Danny, for you, is there anything looking into this that you can maybe give you a, an edge with the way you play against each other in rugby? Is, is there going to be anything for you to take away in that respect? Uh... Luckily, there's a. It's just through a computer screen. Nobody gets to beat me up, um, so <laughs> I'm hoping it's nice and friendly. Uh, now, nah, looking forward to it. He's 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 always been a lot to handle. As Matthew, he's a tough guy to stop. So I know I'm going to have to I'm going to have to play well to stop him. <laughs> Same question to Matthew. Then uh, are you going to are you going to beat Danny up as per usual? <laughs> uh, pour avoir longtemps joué contre Danny, c'est quelqu'un de très 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 malin. Donc je vais devoir me méfier. Et, euh, et voilà, et, c'est quelqu'un de très intelligent, très, très, très intelligent sur le terrain, très malin. Et euh, voilà, il s'avoue jamais, jamais vaincu, donc à moi d'être vigilant. Mais je vais essayer de le okay, tabasser, well... oui. <rire> <Yeah. laughs> ok, guys, thank you very much and good luck in the game. So here we go then, Danny Kerr against Mathieu Bastero. Here we go. Be Danny playing as FC Barcelona, and it will be Mathieu playing as Juventus. Keen to get in this Good one, luck, two huh? rugby stars going up against each other on the virtual pitch in Pez. Yeah, Danny versus uh, Mathieu. It should be a really fun one. One thing I've already noticed uh, from Mathieu is that he's he's using Juventus, but also he's starting Paolo Dybala, something that we haven't seen from other competitors so far in this tournament. I'd like to see uh, Paolo feature quite heavily. Oh, Rakitic is going to have one effort straight off the rip there from Danny, three minutes in. Not an ambitious one, but We'll sail wide, but a decent opportunity comes there, but never really threatening too much. It's a good effort, though. Yeah, decent effort, always rising, but just coming back to some of the, the tricks up the sleeve of, of Matthew Basteru is that he might uh, he might start to use Paolo de Bala's quick 
footwork in and around the, oh. the penalty area of Danny, and that might confuse Blame him a little bit. Back. We've seen it a couple of times already Go so the far. That some quick feet and some little bits of trickery <laughs> can really throw off your opponent. And I hope to see that from both of these rugby stars. They're used to more of a physical game, but it's good to see so far they haven't had to resort to that. Tweedy on the edge here, looking for Diabala. Couldn't quite find it, and Busquets will just about get in the way. Gerard Pique gets this away to Lionel Messi to time to him to stretch his legs down the right-hand side. Good one-two with him and Suarez. Messi now on the edge of the box. Will he look and open this one up into Suarez now? The shot straight to Buffon. Rubbish. Good attack there, though, from Danny in all honesty. Well built together, but here we go. It's going to be Machu on the attack now with Douglas Costa. Yeah, Danny said he used to play Pez quite a lot when he was younger. I think we might see some of that muscle memory start to come back to him. Uh, Hopefully for him, a little bit sooner rather than later. Douglas Costa in. He's got the square on as well. Choose to go for the cross towards Cristiano Ronaldo. Can't quite get it there. Benton Kerr goes from range. Not going to happen. But still, it seems to be a good game of Pez so far with these guys. Mate, I can tell. You no, I thought you see know it. Which is, which is I thought you see me. I thought you see me. I already had on, but... I don't have time. I don't have time for this. Yeah, I'm actually. too old now. I'm too old. Like the vision there is <laughs> to you. Uh, able to find Ben Tanker rather than going for the shot straight away with with Aaron Ramsey. Might have been the more obvious option, but you can tell the way he wants to play. He wants to try and pass it around. Wants to try and get a, a decent opportunity before he, you know, just what? hits and hopes. Uh, and that's what we like to see. Luis Suarez now for Barcelona and here for Danny. Jordi Elba, as he so often does, getting away down that left hand side. Very attacking minded fullback. Even Rakitic now, edge of the box. He liked the shot last time round. Is he going to find Messi in the middle? That's going to be a foul by oh, the Argentinian man. And he will be lucky let's go. from this one. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's see you. That's fine. But still, he's both of those great pardon, chances pardon. here. And he's <laughs> pretty cynical. Let's not lie. Uh, Alexandra will be maybe living a little bit from that one but Messi with the foul and with the yellow card but still more opportunities being created by both players here yeah. yeah, a bit of frustration maybe there from Danny knew he had a really good chance all that had to happen was the pass to be on a sixpence uh, didn't happen for him though but that will give him a bit of confidence as uh, Barris throw comes forward oh, oh. Costa in the box good oh. block, block there by Gerard Piquet Quadrado now to Benson Kerr Looking for the pass, can't quite find it. He's been hurried away by Sergio Busquets. And Messi will distribute it into the middle to Suarez. Look at the run from Rakitic. He has Usman Dembele with him as well. Frankie de Jong back to Dembele, but well intercepted by Mitsuidi. It will be played away, and Alexandra should be able to get Ooh. this one away. He's lingered too long, though. Luis Suarez in on the right-hand side. Has men in the oh. box. The cross is hard and straight. It's an oh, no. and This one should be cleared away, and Benson Kerr gets there in the end. Messi now, edge of the box, looking for Dembele. Can't quite find it. And a <laughs> chance to recover it, potentially, but Dembele couldn't quite get the ball under his spell there. And Buffon will collect after his mistake. Uh. But once again, Danny coming forward with Barcelona. De Jong now. To Rakitic, good movement by Suarez. He's escaped through, and there's the first goal of the game. <laughs> Danny Kerr will get the goal. With Luis Suarez. Suarez and Barcelona will take a 1-0 to zero lead. Suarez. That is a neat finish from the, man, the Barcelona shirt. And I'm not talking about the, the virtual players on the pitch. Pastoro really living life dangerously at the back. And well, the pressure compounds in the end. It was really nice, patient build-up. Not afraid to go backwards. And, lucky well, there, man. The man. and then they finished the boot as well from Suarez. And, and Danny... Was nah, so is, uh, is a good to watch. Uh, a good really good bit of skill, actually. And uh, unfortunately for Buffon, I, I think he sometimes he, he dives too much, match to especially that. against uh, so one nil to PSG in the battle of the yeah. rugby boys. What can I mean, do you remember that match? That game in the remaining yeah. 15 in game minutes here in the second he, half. Chris. He doesn't mind everyone hating him, does he? Yeah, he's gonna have to produce something because that is quite really nice that led to that goal. Matuidi now into Dybala. His right foot just as useful as his left. Douglas Costa trying to find Ramsey there, and it's a decent enough clearance. Oh. Well, that one wasn't. Benton Kurt will get on the ball. Ronaldo looking for the pass. Can't quite oh. find it. Will continue to latch onto the ball, oh. though. But Sergio Roberto's done well. 
Only gets as far as oh. Alexandro Douglas oh. Costa in the air. A fantastic header and an equally as good save by Tostag. Away! Ramsey. No! Oh. To Stig and it rebounds off him. And Barcelona will surely get this one away through get Jordi Alba. Get out. But what a couple of chances <laughs> there for Matthew Pasteur. Well, defensive frailties at oh, the so back lucky, here for mate. Danny. Pasteur really trying his hardest and there was a good couple of chances in there i'm surprised he won the header with with douglas costa i was oh. unfortunate that well after the ball rebounded off the post that a it didn't go in in the first place and b didn't go in off the back of Ter Stegen. danny living life dangerously here oh it's a cracking ball though to usman and dembele he's been under the cost for so so long can dembele make That's this too rubbish, it's a good man. save by buffon <laughs> gg gg buffon yeah, getting in the way yeah messi now Back to Rakitic and then De Jong. Usman and Dembele looking to make it to that drink for Gianluigi Buffon. Maybe we'll get this one away. Will Mathieu best a row? But there has been chances on both sides of things yet, Harry. Definitely could be a higher scoring game. Certainly could. Uh, that strike just uh, moments ago. I think the, the deflection took the sting off it, which allowed Buffon just to to gather up last attack in the half though will come to Danny as uh, he is in the final third the ball has to continue going forward otherwise this half will end at just the one nil one more chance though in it for Danny Messi now looking for that final chance that should be that one stepped what? out completely as Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. Danny <laughs> Cowell will take the lead of one to zero against Matthew oh, Bastard, scrappy two rugby stars Providing a very, very good game here so far, Harry. Anything in particular you've picked up on in terms right of what these two guys are doing right? Well, obviously, the likes of Dybala starting for Juve. I've also picked up on the fact that uh, on the other side, it's this man taking the throw in. Dembele oh. getting the nod over Antoine Griezmann. Don't let Antoine, who's also in the Solidarity <laughs> oh, Challenge, no. hear your uh, team selection here, Danny. He might be out for a bit of blood if you make it into the next round. Uh, but yeah, certainly both players here leaving themselves a lot of room with superstars to come in off the bench. So we'll see if they utilize them here in the second half. Ronaldo can't quite get away from Busquets. That's a battle that's went on for quite a number of years before he's moved over towards Italy. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> Just cuts in front of the man there and that will be a foul and a free kick to Juventus. Now, can Mathieu do anything with this? Short now to Bless Matweedy, who won his game as well and will advance on. Maybe that's a no. future prospect of opponent for one of these two. Quadrado inside, it's a loose Jeez. ball, and eventually Messi will not get anywhere near it as the password was wayward from Usmana Dambele. You can just tell here that Matthew Bastero's confidence is building as he starts to dissect Danny's defensive work rate and his defensive formation at the back playing very very patient he's shown this already in the first half he needs to get a goal from it though if he can sir Marshman Aaron Ramsey has just skipped by there Benson Kerr into Cristiano Ronaldo shrugging off the challenge of Rakitic but that's not the pass he wanted Matuidi was what was on and Danny will be able to get this one away come on Langley now moving this one out to Dembele Got plenty of pace, the young Frenchman, but he's not going to get past there. Ramsey will be able to clean this one up. Maybe another chance for Mathieu coming very, very shortly. He needs to find a bit more of a clear-cut one. We haven't seen too much of an opportunity please, please. since he struck the post with Cristiano Ronaldo. Stop giving Costa will get away the ball here, though. He does have options in front of him. Benson Kerr looks for Costa to get no. the ball to him. But I tell you what, Paul has no. won that one in the box, and that's in the top right corner. Lucky. <laughs> That's your best of all levels things up yet. Juventus and Barcelona one apiece is the Argentinian. Paulo Dybala sticks this one in. It's another mistake defensively for one of these players. But Dybala just pounced in the box and it's one apiece. He was lurking in there, wasn't he? And he really rewards the manager in this instance. Uh, Matthew. Bastero's confidence in him, selecting him in the Good start. Goal, of the goal. People might be wondering, oh, why, why are you guys thank talking you, about thank you. Thank you. <laughs> not featuring well in the done. starting lineup? Surely he's a he's a surefire pick. It's purely because the stat balancing mode we're playing here favors taller players, favors more physical players. But 
Dybala using his prowess there and he gets the goal that makes it 1-1. Danny looking for the cross there to try and find something, but maybe a little bit forced. Maybe he's a little bit flustered after that goal. As Mathieu is seemingly dragging himself back into this game. But it was good finish by Dybal, as you alluded to. Very nicely done. Still a very, very capable player. Ronaldo offside. now out Alexandro. There's a question of offside potentially, but the ball's going to be whipped in. He's going to oh. be Dybala. It's a cracking save by Testegen. Oh, no. I'm in trouble here. The Frenchman knocking on the door. Ramsey. Oh, oh it's a lovely pass inside to Benton Kerr and to Douglas Costa. Surely this is two to one. It's a great block by Gerard Piquet. And this one will be cleared away. Danny Kerr just about holding on here, Harry. Just about. Needs to get back to his rugby roots, I think. Start passing it sideways, passing it backwards because he's trying oh. to go forwards too often. And, well, if you don't have the men in support and you oh, don't have the accurate the passes, as is just proven. And you're just turning possession back over. And as rugby players know, possession is, well, nine-tenths of the law, as they say. Sandro will get this one away. Another failed attack coming out from Danny That Ronaldo now into Blaisemat Swedi. Exchanging passes with Sandro. Benson ah. Kerr now looking for the pass. It is wayward. And Frankie De Jong's is not. Usmana Dembele will play a delicious ball through to Luis Suarez. Can the Uruguayan tie things up? Oh! It's a brilliant, brilliant goal to make it 2-1. Oh, what a well-worked move. Well, that goal is absolutely worth it. Sorry, mate. Counter attack. He's really based on that pass. Weight is perfect. Ah, Direction oh, no, no, he the got me. is perfect. The finish was perfect as well. Just take a look at this. From Mate, I was Martin, in trouble though, till then. Yeah. Is it. Couldn't get the ball. Spin to just get the weight right on a sixpence and right on the money for Suarez to slot home as he often does. And well, with only, by my watch, 12 in-game minutes remaining, plus stoppage, I think Mathieu Bastereau might be, well, I don't want to call it before it's over, but he's certainly on the ropes. And he'll feel aggrieved with that one. He had chances just before that. And the thing is, he might open up here a little bit as he tries to pile men forward. Rakitic looking for the ball inside. The link no. doesn't get there and has oh. to force a good save. <laughs> Jean Louis I'm going to bring on a Frenchman. This was another good Reason. move, and you called it perfectly. The more men have to go mm. forward for Juventus, the less there will be at the back. And Delic the there just not locking onto the ball as Matteo would have wanted. Time's running down. This one favours Danny at the moment. The ball's up the wrong end of the pitch for the the Frenchman playing right now. Ready? Yeah. Corner to be whipped in by Lionel Messi. Benucci will get there. Nine in-game minutes to go. Sergio Roberto. Busquets now doesn't mind a shot. Will it actually land to Luis Suarez? No. feet not quite die ball. Stretch his legs and get this one away. No. Maybe a counter-attacking opportunity. It's on here for no. Juventus, out to Cristiano Ronaldo. Not him. A little bit of energy left in the tank. The Portuguese man flying down the left-hand side, cuts inside, and Gerard Piquet is there. Stops him in his tracks, and that might be it now. Only around four in-game minutes remaining here, Harry, and it is actually Danny on the attack with Barcelona. Great tackle up the other end, it has to be said. Sergio Roberto now looking to finish this one. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. It's another good save by Louis. Buffon. Suarez maybe should have done better, but Sergio Roberto does so well. It's really, really That's good. That's just play. like watching Man, Barcelona play. Good chip ball in. Oh. Really good save as well. Well, I don't want to say the virtual Buffon's having the, the game of his career because he's had plenty of good games in his long old career, but this is certainly up there. Oh, the header in. It was from Busquets. It's not going to be another corner. Looks like it came off Busquets, so that should be a goal kick. Maybe one last throw of the dice here for Mathieu. If you look, Danny's actually brought on Griezmann. Did so moments before, but I don't think Buster oh. has brought anyone on. So tired legs could come into factor here as Griezmann will look to try and get amongst them and maybe get himself a late goal as a substitute. One minute remaining now, but it's Barcelona and the attack. Suarez, can he finish it off? Not quite. Oh, Louis. He will clear this one away, but I don't <laughs> think Mathieu best the row. 
has time to get this one up on the other end of the pitch now. Messi will take a shot and it's just about wayward, but there you go. It will be Danny Kerr's Barcelona Messi. winning this one. Two to one. Two goals from Luis Suarez. Well left, does it. What a game of Pez there, Harry. What a game indeed. Oh, we done. Three balls in the end being the difference. I think, yes. For Danny Kerr. Yeah, it's finished. Commiserations to, oh. to you, Bastel Rowe. He gave it his all. Well done, guys. Not find the back of the look, net look the statistic. As look. As he could, and as a result, he will be out <laughs> with the solidarity challenge. Okay, firstly, we'll go to Danny, the the, the victor in this one. Danny, a, a good a good game of Pez out yourself. Did you feel you were against the ropes a little bit though? At, at one point, it was uh, there was a lot of attacking coming from Mathieu, but the counter attacking and the through ball uh, that eventually won you it. One that Suarez scored. Fantastic game of Pez from yourself. Yeah, that second half, I couldn't get hold of the ball. I think uh, I think my boys were off celebrating. They were in the bar. They were drinking champagne. They thought it was <laughs> over. Uh, <laughs> As you got into the game, he probably should have scored a couple. He was unlucky not to score another one. And then I had to rely on an old Liverpool legend in Luis Suarez to bail me out. Um, it was a good finish, but it was a good game. I probably didn't deserve to win, but I'll take it. Matthew, commiserations. Uh, you maybe did enough to at least earn a draw and force the penalty shootout, but just couldn't quite put the ball in the net. Euh, ouais, ouais, je suis déçu quand même parce que euh, ouais, je pense que j'aurais mérité plus. Mais dominer n'est pas gagné. Comme je l'avais dit, Danny est très malin et il a très bien joué en contre. Et, euh, et en plus, avec euh, Luis Suarez en pointe, euh, ça pardonne pas. En tant que fan de Manchester United, euh, euh, qu'un qu joueur de Liverpool me mette un doublé, ça me fait mal au cœur. Mais bon, c'est comme ça. Well, guys, thank you very much for the game. It was thoroughly entertaining. One of the, the higher level games we've seen so far. So thank you very much, guys. And uh, Danny, good luck on the rest of the tournament. Matthew, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Thank you. So there we go. Then Danny Kerr and Matthew Basta wrote a very, very good game in the end, actually, Harry, wasn't it? You know, both quite proficient, it has to be said. We've seen some really good pairs. We've seen some bad pairs as well. <laughs> but that one was, was definitely up there with some of the best we've seen. Yeah, certainly. I, th I think we were anticipating because these, these two were rugby lads. Uh... <laughs> A lot more of a physical encounter. That's a bit, a bit of uh, stereotypical of, of rugby, uh, but these these guys were were really proficient uh, in terms of passing the ball around. I was very impressed with some of the patience that we saw in and around the box from from Mateo, uh, especially. Uh, but in the end, it was just Danny who who had the the more fortunate chances, I suppose you could say. And any other day, the result maybe could have been different. But this time around, it's Danny that goes through. Yeah, re really could have went either way. And in the end, it's just Danny who took his chances, probably had, as you said, had a bit more of a clear cut once in the end. Although Matthew did have plenty of possession, but in the end, it will be Danny to go on through. But let's have a look at the rest of the games that we have already played today and what we potentially have on the cards tomorrow. So we've already seen some really big names come and some really big names fall as well. What was your favorite game that we've seen in day number one, Harry? Oh, it's tricky, you know. Uh, I like the Amandine Henri versus Blaise Matuidi game. That was a great match. Obviously, we saw Sir, Sir Mo make his debut as well, uh, winning on penalties. Uh, Antoine Griezmann, the hot favourite, uh, all stood out for me. And of course, Robert Pires uh, joining us in the next round as well. They were all some fantastic matches. If you had to pick one in terms of closeness, probably Amandine Henri. Um, and the Danny Kerr, Matthew Bastero uh, matches that we just saw. Uh, but if you're looking for an early tournament favourite, just look at the man from Barcelona, Antoine Griezmann, 5-0. Looked so impressive, didn't he? And we very much expected that as well after knowing his history around Pez, knowing that he plays with some of the pros as well. So he is very much the favourite for this one. But of course, we do have more action coming tomorrow. But just to remind you guys as to why we are doing this Solidarity Challenge, it is indeed for the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund by the WHO. You can donate once again at www.solidaritychallenge.org and all donations go towards the cause to stopping coronavirus across the the planet but that is going to be it for today we'll be back tomorrow with plenty more games of round one and into the quarterfinals we'll see you then